get off the right wheel. All right, hello, this is Tish. And this is Kurt. This is the seven steps to starting your CBD empire, the official oxygen quick start guide. We are so happy that you've gotten started with your own CBD business. And we're just here to share some tips and secrets with you that we've used throughout the years to help others to have success as well as to help ourselves to have success. So let's get straight into the information. So when starting your business, it's important. Remember, this is going to be a a huge business for you, but the way you make it the biggest is you really focus on the one thing that's most important to you, and that is what's your why. Remember, one who has a strong why can conquer almost any how. That's by Nietzsche, all right? So write down your why in a place where you can see it every single day. Now think about it. Your why might be financial freedom. It could be family. It could be wealth. It could be retirement. It could be lifestyle. It could even be charity. But whatever it is, write it down where you can see it. Now, that why is really important. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's really important for me is that um, my why has to be something that I feel so strong about that nothing is going to stop me. And sometimes you got to like take a picture of your why. If that why for you is to fill up your retirement fund or to you know, put money away for your kid's college fund. You need to put pictures in your office, in your car, places where you can see it. If you're trying to make a million dollars, you know, go get one of those little fake million dollar bills, put it up somewhere and have that why in front of you. Step number two, make your list. Remember, big lists equals big money. Matter of fact, the law of large numbers states, a large list makes it impossible to fail and a small list makes it impossible to succeed. And you want to write down every single name that you can think of. You know, you want to talk about, you know, think about the, the real estate agent maybe that sold you a house, your dentist, your kid's pediatrician. Use a memory jogger tool. Um, there's one provided in the virtual office to help you to remember all of your contacts. Now, here's one thing that I really had to listen to. And this this was tough because I'm so technical and I use, you know, my phone for everything, write your list on a sheet of paper. Yep, old school paper and pen is the best way to do it. This helps you go through your names much quicker and it's much more organized. And you can even write notes about what each person you contacted said. Now, here's important when it comes to your list and you're thinking of all the people that you know, remember, get it out of your phone, uh, put it on paper, but here's the important thing. Your goal is to get them to see the opportunity, not just to chit chat with them, you know, get a feel if you think it's something they're interested in. The goal is to get them in front of the information, not to convince them yourself, but have the opportunity speak for itself. One more thing I just want to add is don't prejudge anyone. You have no idea who needs or wants an opportunity. Your goal is to get everybody out in front of it and let them decide. Let the presentation decide if they want to do it or not. How many times have you, you know, thought that somebody wasn't going to do it and then they wind up doing it or thinking somebody oh, yeah. was going to do it and then they wind up not doing it? I mean, celebrities, high net worth individuals thinking that they their life was so straight, but some of them just wanted another stream of income. Some of them wanted to get out of, you know, they had some other debt, had some other goals outside of their current source. So you never know. You got to get people in front of it. Step number three out of seven, right? These are seven steps. Mm -hmm. So what's three? Number three is inviting your prospects, all right? So this is important. Remember, you want to invite people to see the information, all right? So for warm prospects, people that you already know, that's called a warm prospect if you already know them. This is what you want to do. First things first is you want to find out their availability before inviting them to see the presentation. You don't want to just say, hey, look, I want you to come to this presentation Tuesday night at 7. They may already have plans Tuesday night at 7. So what I like to do is I say, hey, what you got going on Tuesday night at 7? Once they say, hey, you know what, I'm pretty free, that's when you want to go for the invite. Absolutely. Um, give them a preview, but not an overview. This is important. You don't want to start telling them everything. You know, well, it's CBD. Jawan Howard is the ambassador of the company, part owner. You know, start talking about everything. You don't want to tell them everything because then there's no need for them to come out and see the presentation. You just want to give them... 
just want to give them enough. Like, it's, think of it like the preview to a movie. If you saw the whole movie in the commercial, why would you go, right? So you want to kind of give them the sizzle, but not the steak. And for me, the best thing that I've ever done when it comes to inviting is really just to edify, you know, who the presenter is going to be, who I'm going to get them on the phone with, you know, the, you know, who I want you to really hear and or, or see when you come out. Um, there's a guy there and he's doing extremely well. He's helping a lot of people. He's a father. He's made millions of dollars in this company. You should come out and hear what he has to say. So it's important to edify the person that's actually going to be helping you out with the presentation. And on top of that, you want to be as excited as you can be. Now, there's a difference. Tashina's excited. My excited might be two different things, but excited as you can be. All right. Why? Because your excitement draws to people's curiosity. They want to know why you are so pumped up. Why are you so excited about this opportunity? So every time you think about your business, think about the millions that you will make over the course of your time in the business and let that drive your excitement. I always say you just got to be like one like level above your normal tone. Right. Yeah, you can't just say, hey, hey, what you doing later on? Yeah, hey, you it's, know, you coming over later. It's got to be, hey, look, we got this event. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of opportunity for us to get into CBD. You know, are you ready? You ready? I found something. I found something where we can make some money. You ready? You know, like, it doesn't even have to be that loud. It just has to be a different energy level than normal. Oh, let me give you a secret. This is not even in the, this is the slides. It's stand up. And when you talk, all right, when you stand up, your energy goes to a different level. So stand up when you talk. They can't see you standing up over the phone anyway. So just go stand up and watch your energy go up. Now, you want to invite more people than you expect to show up. This is something we know 100%. Everyone believes that their event is always going to be like packed out. And then when they, the day of the event, people start canceling. Um, they don't have the show ups that they were expecting. And then they feel disappointed. But if you invite more people than you expect to show up, you'll really actually get the crowd that you're looking for. So remember, saying less is definitely going to be the best. Remember, there's a lot of information in that presentation. Let the presentation do the work for you. Your goal is to get people in front of that presentation. All right. So step number four, expose the prospects to the opportunity. All right. We call it sharing the plan. OK, so remember you're inviting these people out, okay? You're doing all this, but now you got to figure out which method is going to be the best way for you to share the plan, all right? My favorite is the PBR or private business reception. We now also call it a CBD party or simply just a home meeting, just inviting people over to your house to see the information. And the way that we do that is we have the information either download to our phone, laptop, or iPad, and it's just going to be shared on your TV in your home via HDMI cord. Another way you can expose people to the business is a one-on-one -on -one meeting. It could be a one-on-one, -on -one, two on one. It just means it's you and someone else, or maybe you and two other people. But the point of it is that you're sitting down directly with your prospect. It's the fastest way to share the plan. Also like this way, this is probably my favorite way out of all of them. Um, the reason I like this way is because I feel like I can get very um, personal with the person, figure out what are some of their challenges going on right now in life. You know, what do they think about the industry of direct sales? Are they comfortable with it? Is it something, you know, that they really need right now in their life? That way they can give me some insight on, you know, how I can tailor my presentation to some of their needs. And remember, there's also something called a BOM or business opportunity meeting. And this is similar to a PBR. However, this is a meeting going to be typically held in a hotel. There's going to be a presenter. There's probably the top money earner in the area. They'll be dressed well. They'll be well spoken. And you can trust that when you take your people out to see them speak, your prospects will be interested in the opportunity and want to go further, want to get started, want to learn more. So this is going to be great. It's always going to be facilitated by the top people in the area. Then we also have online presentations. Now, there's uh, a legacy app. If you haven't downloaded it already, I want you to make sure right after this, you go and you download it. This is a great way to share the presentation. It's in the app store. It's a phone app, right? Yes. So yeah, the legacy app, as you see on the screen, it's a phone app, Google Play Store, or 
you are in the Apple App Store, right? The App Store. Yeah, yeah. right, <laughs> so. right. And the good thing about this app um, that I like is that when you send it to a prospect from the app, you actually get to see if they watch the whole presentation, right? Yeah, that's critical because now you know if they're serious when they watch the whole presentation. So we also have um, YouTube presentations. You can go to uh, our YouTube pages or we have weekly webinars uh, that are throughout the company. And we even do webinars at AndersonWebinars.com. And I have a couple presentations up on my YouTube page, which is YouTube.com forward slash Ultra Kurt. That's Ultra C-U-R-T. Okay, so step five. Now you are ready for your event. You've invited the people out. You've, you've written down your list. You invited the people out. You know what you, how you're going to get to them. Now you got to prepare for it. The first thing, the first event should be in your home. Why? Number one is duplicatable. People that come to your home, when they get started, they think, hey, I got to do an event in my home. And it's absolutely right. So here's what you'll need. So you'll need to download the CBD PowerPoint presentation from the virtual office. All right. You can go to your virtual office or you can go to my.fivelinks.com and you'll be able to find the CB, the oxygen CBD PowerPoint presentation. You can you also need to print out an oxygen pricing sheet. This is found at my.fivelinks.com. You go underneath doc, docs, oxygen, and it's the five links tiered price options sheet. This is going to be great for you at your meeting because someone's going to ask you how much does one of your products cost. You want to kind of have that in front of you so that you can be able to tell them your retail price. Very important. And listen, this is one of the things that we got to make sure everybody gets this. In order to do the presentation at your home, you need to do it. Connect your laptop, tablet or phone to your TV via an HDMI cable. All right. Remember, HDMI cable. Now, if you have uh, a phone, you may need an adapter. That's fine, but you can just Google what type of adapter you need to go from your phone to an HDMI cable. Once you have it up on your phone, you can display it on the TV. If you have any further questions about that, you can uh, consult your upline or your sponsor, and they can walk you through how to do that. But that's a critical step, but it makes it extremely convenient because you can go through the slideshows right there on your TV. And they definitely, you need to practice this. <laughs> like, you don't want to get to your first event and then you're trying to figure it out at the event. Practice it at home on your computer, get to the person's house if you're doing it at someone else's house, get there a little bit early. Make sure you practice it several times to make sure that you have a, a good understanding of how this works. Now, you wanna display your products and brochures that came with your enrollment bundle so your guests can see and try the products. You wanna have before the event, have them try it out. Um, Ask them if they have any pain. Is there anything that you can you know, give them so that they can feel the pain while you know, be relieved while they're there. All right. So you'll get some copies of the enrollment forms in your new rep kit, but make a few more. All right. So that way, if you have more guests or someone wants to take an enrollment form to a friend, you'll be ready. Don't forget, have a pen. It's really hard to fill those enrollment forms out without pens. Clipboards are also helpful. All right. Um, and you even have a legacy app because a lot of people are digital and they want to sign up straight from their phones or their iPads. And I do a lot of signups right into my phone or my iPad. So I don't even have to uh, keep anybody's information on paper. All right. And so also remember for your event, you want to provide snacks, simple stuff. Don't go over 30 bucks, chips, fruits, or uh, fr uh, fruit or veggie tray, bottled water. That's enough. They're not coming for a meal, they're coming to get fed information, all right? So remember, remember that, don't go overboard uh, with your event. And keep it under 30 bucks. Yeah, keep it under $30, all right? Number six, let's talk about this. What's your goal? Are you a big dreamer? I know I am, all right? And I know I am. Look, we got big goals. We, we wanna, can we tell them what our goals are since we're talking about goals? So we, we wanna hit a million dollars a month. Absolutely. Million dollars a month, but you have to write your goals down. But let's think about some goals that you get to before the million dollars a month. Your 30 day quick start bonus. All right. Now, the top one is five reps. That means five people enrolled become distributors with you and 25 customer points. All right. If you do that, and that means that people are buying the products and services from you, 
If you do that, you get $1,000 within your first 30 days in the business. All right. The next one is the earn position bonus. All right. You can make up to $5,000 depending on how fast you get promoted uh, in the company. All right. And then also, this is my favorite is the monthly team bonuses. So you can make up to $25,700 per month, every month in bonuses alone based off of how fast your team grows in the calendar month. And this is my wife's favorite, which is residual income because it is unlimited. <laughs> unlimited. Oh, I love that's, that word. That's a nice word. You unlimited. Got, I mean, did, is your job ever say your salary is unlimited? No, it doesn't. Right. So unlimited. You want the platinum lifestyle. If you guys have been on our YouTube, you know, we got the Bentleys, the homes and the swimming pool and all the travel and vacations and all that stuff. Well, this is the way you do it. You write it down so you can go for it, all right? And we wanna encourage you to become the next diamonds, get to the top of the company and become the next diamonds in the company. And I think what I want you to get from this slide is that when you start a business like this, you have to be actively, aggressively looking for, for yourself, how do you go from one level to the next? How do I make more money? What is it that I need to do? How many points do I need? What position, um, what, is, what does it take to go from one position to the next? You know, I didn't wait for someone to tell me. I went in my virtual office. I printed these things out myself. I wrote those things down and I went after them. So don't wait for someone to do it for you. You know, take the initiative and go after it yourself. All right. So step number seven. Okay, urgency is the key. If I could give you the best step of all is just to go at it. And Jashina just said it. Be aggressive, but be urgent. You sign up into a business where you know that there's unlimited amount of income. People are already in this industry doing over $1.5 million a month. Don't sit on it. Don't wait. It's never going to be perfect. Just start now. The CBD industry is huge. It's going to be over $22 billion in the next two years. This is the best way to really get going. It's just you got to just pick up the phone and start calling people right away. And the faster you grow the team, the more success you will have. And hopefully what you'll do is when you get off this video, you'll call your upline, the person you're working with, and you'll say, I have my list. I have my date. I have a few dates that I want to do. My first meeting, you know, I'm ready to start making my phone calls. I've already gone on my website. I've already gone into my virtual office and just point me in the direction. You know, I'm getting ready for my first meeting. I have my HDMI cord. I have all my applications. Just, you know, let me know what you need from me and I'm ready to go. I think urgency is important and more important than even just urgency is to understand that you are a business owner. So whatever you put into this is what you're going to get out of it. You put in hobby work, you're going to get hobby money from it. You put in million dollar work, you're going to make a million dollars with it. So urgency is key and don't forget that. All right. So we put together some, some top success tips, things that we've gathered that everybody needs to make sure they're doing on a regular basis. This is very important. Uh, first and foremost, you got to get familiar with that virtual office and your website, your uh, your products website, your back office, the whole nine. So you, you're you informed of what's going on. All right. That's why you have it is to inform you of what's going on and help you grow your, excuse me, grow your business. You want to make sure you attend the next national convention. Go to www.fivelinksevent.com and find out when the date is. Find out where the location is. Book your flight. Book your hotel and take that um, time off from work, get yourself prepared for that. Let the person know on your team, I'm going to be there. One of the things that someone, um, my upline told me when I first came into the business, she said, if you want to be successful, all the people that are having success will be at this national convention. If you want to have success, you'll make sure that you're there. And that was all she had to say. And that was all I needed. I made sure, even though it wasn't easy, I made sure I was there. All right. And we have a lot of training for you guys. All right. So uh, get on your uh, team calls. Uh, we have a, a, our greater team call on eight at 830 every Sunday night. And then our smaller team. All right. More focus right there at 930 p.m. Eastern. OK, get to the weekly events in your area. OK, that is going to be critical. There's already people doing the business in your area. 
And all you need to do is show up and invite your guests there. And while you're learning the business, you could be making money. So that's critical as well. Also, download the Group Me app, all right? This is just a messaging app we use to stay in contact with each other. Uh, but it's really good because there's a lot of messages that don't need to be a direct text message, but it's good to know information, maybe info about conference calls or uh, you know important promotions or whatever it may be that'll be in the Group Me. Now, you also want to make sure that you stay connected to your upline leader. So not just the person that brought you into the business. They might be new just like you. You need to find out who your upline, national director, senior vice president, or whatever next in line leader um, outside of the person that might be just starting in the business just like you. And the reason for that is because um, you need to be connected to someone who knows how to do the business. You know, I don't know how many times I've said this to a new person. People always think that the upline is busy. They're too busy to answer their phone calls. They don't want to make that phone call. But I'm going to tell you this. I did not care. I wanted the business so bad. I wanted the information so bad. I called whenever I could. I interrupted whenever I could because I wanted the information. You don't worry about the part of them being busy, you worry more about you getting what you need to succeed. All right, guys, so you got it, all right? It's time for you to go out and launch your business. Remember, you could be the next top income earner, the next diamond. It's all there for you, and the CBD industry is wide open for the taking. The question is, are you going to step up, file the seven steps to success, and even the success tips, and make your business successful right away? Guys, we are Kurt and Tish, and this is officially your quick start video for your CBD business.